Hi you guys, what's up? I hope you're doing well today. We're doing a Boston Birkenstock video. I've been talking about doing this for so long. I love my Birkenstocks. Um, I'm a Birkenstock girl through and through, like specifically the Bostons. I'm obsessed with. So I feel like Bostons especially can kind of go with literally anything, but I do know the struggle of when you first get them or whenever I first got them at least. I didn't know what to wear them with um, besides like comfy clothes because I felt like they automatically went really well with like um, sweatpants and a sweatshirt and you know what I mean? Like easy casual outfits. Today I'm just kind of going to be running through my favorite outfits that I like to wear with them. And yeah, I also wanted to run through the pairs that I have. So I have the ones that are on my feet right now. These are my newest edition. They're in this like tan color. They have like the monochrome buckle, which I really like. I just think they're so cute. These are my first pair of like tan, like normal colored ones. Um, and they're almost like a yellow actually. And then my first pair that I ever got were these um, Boston, just like with the fur. They're kind of like my winter pair, I'd say. Um, they kind of remind me of Uggs. But these and then the last pair I got off of the Birkenstock website. And then I also have this green pair, which is my favorite pair probably just because I love green. Green's my favorite color. And these I actually got off of Poshmark. So I know a lot of places are sold out of them right now and I'm going to hunt down the different websites and try to find some links that have them available for you. And so I'll put those down below, but I also highly recommend going on Poshmark, eBay, Depop, um, Facebook Marketplace even, and checking out and seeing if they have any still or have any. Um, but I got these for like $20. If you're not scared of like used shoes, which I'm not obviously, um, I highly recommend looking there. And then aside from those, I actually do have a dupe pair, which I've told you guys about before, but I'm going to say it again. These are from Walmart. These are actually so beat up. I'm sorry, they're gross. These are actually <laughs> my like dog taking out shoes. Like I go in the backyard, I've done, I ran these through the ringer and these were only ten dollars and i'm pretty sure they still have them for sale on walmart but i got them locally at my current local walmart also really quickly i do want to tell you that i put together a pinterest board of like birkenstock boston outfits um just because i thought it could be helpful for you guys if you guys are looking for outfits outside of this video and i'm also going to try to add the outfits that i put in this video on that pinterest board so i'll link that down below as well let's get into the first outfit okay we're starting off really really simple or easing in to some outfits this is just like the most basic outfit that i can think of um but it's one of my favorites it's just you know a pair of nice denim your favorite denim with a nice sweater chunky sweater cozy um i love it. this tote bag with it too this is from saison i think it looks so cute yeah i feel like for fall this is kind of like a go-to you know you just want to run out go run errands but you want to feel cute something about the simplicity of it all with the birkenstocks i really like and right now i am raw dogging my birkenstocks and um no socks i will however show you my favorite socks that i wear with birkenstocks at some point in this so specifically i'm wearing um these jeans are like Levi's vintage. I thrifted randomly um, from the men's section. I love them so much. I believe they're 550s. Yes, these are 550s. I love them. I love the wash. Um, I think they hit really nice. The thing with Boston's, I feel like I really like a puddled look over top of them too, like pants wise, but I also like it where you can kind of definitively see the ankle um, and the space between like where the pants end and the shoe starts. I don't know. My sweater is from Cezanne as well. It's new. It's so soft. I'm so excited to wear this for fall. Um, and I love like the neckline on it too, but just keeping the color palette super simple um, and easy and minimal. And then this is also from Cezanne as well. So, and that's this. <laughs> Putting this coat on right now gets me more excited than I can probably even like verbally express, but I, I'm just so excited. This might be one of my like favorite fall outfits of like all time, but especially with Boston's. Um, so you know how I just said I love when you can see the skin between the shoe and the jean? Well, this is total opposite. I love it. Like the baggier, the better. I just think that looks so cool. Um, and then with a trench coat, I love love a trench coat with any clogs but especially a boston i went for a bagger looking trench coat this time um rather than like more of a form-fitted one or a shorter one it doesn't have the brand on it it's like faux fake burberry under it so i'm sorry but um and then this turtleneck is from h&m i thrifted this also last year and i love the colors together playing it super kind of neutral earthy tones and yeah this is a second look <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna show you two denim on denim looks because I love, love. First of all, I love a denim on denim look in general, but especially with these. And so this one is kind of more of a transitional 
um, maybe, you know, fall time where it's a little bit warmer, whatever, or if you can just get away with wearing shorts wherever you're at in the fall or winter. And um, I love this kind of look, to be honest. This is definitely going to be on my roster this fall because, um, again, like today, it's like you can wear shorts, but you don't have to. Again, super casual. I have my little chunky socks here. I'm going to show you. Okay, let me get actually. Actually, I'm going to film them on my phone so I don't mess with my thing. But these are my favorite, favorite, favorite socks. And they are from Amazon. Well, they're, you can get them at a lot of different places. They're by Maggie's Organics, I think. Um, they have a bunch of different colors. They are definitely a little expensive for socks, not going to lie, but the quality is insane. They're super, super stretchy. They're thin with still being thick, if that makes sense. And you can scrunch them, however. And so, like I said, I'll link all my favorite Boston-y socks um, or socks to wear with Boston's down below. I get most of my socks on Amazon, but I love these. All-time favorite. I also do have like a more inexpensive chunky sock as well, but love these and thought I'd mention them in case you guys are looking for a good sock for them. Anyway, so we have this Big oversized like uh, denim jacket from Levi's. I thrifted this on eBay a while ago. I love it. And then sweater underneath is from H&M. Stand up, but hopefully I'm too far away for you to notice that. Anyway, um, and then the shorts I cut off. They're also, uh, wait, what are these? I don't know the brand, but I thrifted these a while ago and I recently cut them off this summer. And I like the way they look. So um, this is outfit number three. We're also gonna do another denim on them. next denim on denim uh again just super easy casual i love a canadian jumpsuit and i think that they are such a staple like outfit for fall um so this one or my same levi jeans from the first outfit and then this is a thrifted like chambray top that i just cropped and it has like a little phrase i've had this for years i love it i wear it all the time if it's maybe too much denim or you want to break it up you can always add a jacket on it you can add like a purse to like break it up um i like to just you know sometimes throw a little sweater over your shoulders uh, kind of just like separates it and yeah here's a little 360. okay i switched over to my green ones because i liked it with the you know dark everything except for i will show you it with then here's the same outfit with the tan ones which i actually actually think i might like the tan ones better with this outfit so changing my original plans anyway for this one we're kind of dressing it up a little bit skirts i love this skirt this one's thrifted and it's my crinkle one you guys found it with me um but yeah i love the look of a skirt with boston's i think it's super cute and then i have a cardigan here which i love to wear cardigans with like a maxi skirt and this is how i normally wear like my cardigans i button the top too so you can kind of see like a little bit of skin and it separates it a little bit i don't know i've been liking that recently and then again to kind of separate it i added like a little mini bag which is just my teddy blake silver one here's it without the purse though i'm not wearing any accessories either i just realized um but i think it's super easy and casual still um and they kind of like bring the outfit down a notch i feel like i could wear this outfit with like a pair of black booties and or like heels and it would elevate it and also anchor it down to more of like a casual street style look with the boston's so okay here's a little bit more playful of one for me at least this thing is a little itchy but i'm going to show you a different option as well with these pants but i love cargos um, especially for fall, I'm really excited about these. These are Donnie ones, and I think they look so cute with these shoes. I'm very excited about this um, pairing. I just have this like wool itchy vest that I love so much. It's just so itchy. I need to put like a t-shirt on or something under it, um, but I like this pairing. I like these colors together. I thrifted this vest, by the way, and then I also have like a sweatshirt that I wanted to put on with these, but I liked this pairing, and I thought if I was going to like look a little bit, I kind of feel like it's outdoors, even though this is a wool vest. I don't know if that makes a difference but then here is the second option this is just like a i don't even know a crew neck from madewell from a long long time ago that i love and just again casual it's kind of like a camping feeling outfit but i would totally wear this any day of the week oh and another thing i really like about these pants you guys so you see how they're like at my ankle they go in I have a little tie which you can untie and then you can do that like look how cute those look with these these are donnie i don't know if i said that um but these are donnie i love them and i think i don't know which style i think i actually like them better like this with these shoes but yeah you love that anyway this is option number two another little staple outfit for me this combination makes me so happy i wouldn't classify these shoes okay i guess i don't know I would classify these shoes as like in, in the ugly category or like the grandpa category. And I love an ugly, grandpa-y, clunky kind of shoe um, with 
a mini dress or just any dress in general, a mini dress, a maxi dress, any dress. I think it looks so fun and cute and it's just such a good like fun play and like juxtaposition I guess. So I have these on with my same uh, socks from before and this dress is from H&M. You can see it's just kind of this like nighty kind of looking dress. Um, you can see my bra thread I guess. Yeah, a mini dress. I love a maxi dress too with them though. Also just super easy. Um, I feel like if you just have any dress in your closet, these go with them. Possibilities are truly endless. <laughs> I genuinely don't know how many frames the camera was tilted like that, so I'm so sorry. Um, this is kind of what I mean by like business casual, and this is an outfit I wish I had like a place to wear this to more, but I just feel like this kind of outfit and like trousers in general, these trousers are from Donnie, and they're like a silk and they puddle at the bottom, but any trousers I think look so cute with a shoe like this. Um, and so then I just have like a white t-shirt, I've kept it really super simple, and I feel like you could like you could easily wear this same outfit like I, I don't know depending on what shoes you wear with this kind of outfit it can change the vibe I feel like these shoes bring it down a notch they make it more casual um, more like street style and I like this you can wear a little toe back to keep it to bring it down even more um, and I just <laughs> love this kind of outfit it's one of my all-time favorites and I do not wear it enough the blazers thrifted super cute like double breasted I honestly forgot I had it I thought I had a different black blazer but it turns out this one is my black blazer I don't know anyway I love this I just feel like these like go so well with this kind of look. I don't know, something about it. Okay, this is definitely another transitional one, um, but I feel like if you're watching this and it's too cold to wear shorts or you don't want to wear shorts or whatever, I feel like this outfit combination, kind of like one of the easiest in my mind to wear with Birkenstocks. I feel like any Birkenstocks really, but especially Boston's, um, I think it just like all flows together so well, balances each other out so well, kind of just like I don't know, just like a plain button down um, with pants and a white shirt. And I could switch these shorts out for like any pair of jeans, trousers, uh, white pants, sweatpants, whatever, and I think it would work. And similarly, I can also switch out this, like this is more of like a fun patterned button down, but I feel like you could also wear it just with like a plain any other color button down and it would look super cute as well. And socks or no socks, but of course I am a sock girl, so I love these. And um, this is the outfit. These shorts are from Old Navy, by the way. Uh, top is Donnie, or like the t-shirt is. And then this was thrifted recently. And I love how long it goes, actually. This is my first time wearing it. I just recently thrifted it. So very excited about this one, but. <laughs> Then alas, we have my most favorite, favorite way to wear them, and that is the comfiest way possible with just like sweatpants. They are from eBay. They're just like, what are they called? Real tree? I don't know. Anyway, um, so I have those on with my same white t-shirt I've been wearing, and then this is my eBay um, quilted jacket thing or like liner. I think they still have it on that same listing. I'll link it. I'm pretty sure they do if you're looking for one. I love this one so much. Um, it is like supposed to be a jacket liner, so it does have like holes in the armpits, but I like it. You would never be able to tell in my opinion. Um, it's one of my favorites. Anyway, if I wasn't wearing a jacket with it, I feel like you could wear any jacket with sweatpants and that kind of elevates them as well. Also just sweatshirt and sweatpants is my go-to. I love it too much. It's just easy, obviously. Um, but yeah, this is the last outfit. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I I think that Boston's are such a treasure and I understand too, too if like, you probably didn't click on this if you don't like Boston's, but maybe you did and hopefully maybe that I can change your mind on them or something because if not for the look, the pleasure of the comfort of them, they're just so comfy and I'm not one like, I don't, I wouldn't, wouldn't usually say like slip on shoes are comfy, but I feel like these are for some reason. Like your feet don't slip out of them no matter if you're wearing socks or not. And I just love that about them. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.